one month, one month. Hey, hey guys, and welcome back to Sparkle and Grow. My name is Jamie Wilkinson. If you do not know me already, um, one month, you guys, oh my gosh, I have been doing the ketogenic diet. Actually, I have actually been doing it for over a month. I'm recording this video on the, uh, the 13th. So, and I started January 1st. So I've actually been doing it like a month and a half, but I'm just now getting to my one month video. Um, I'm kind of excited to do this one month video because I keep promising you guys like recipe videos and crickets, chirp, chirp. Okay, so <laughs> um, no, for real, I really want to start diving into more like recipes and tips and things that I found because I'm really enjoying this way of eating. There's things that are definitely hard sometimes and I have to like try to kind of quirk things up a little bit and I don't know, figure out what's gonna solve some craving that I'm having or something. But for the most part, I've never had a, I guess, diet where I felt like it was pretty sustainable and that I was being really successful at and that I wasn't gonna just go like binge on something crazy. I feel really like satisfied. I feel really full. I feel really energized, you guys. Like my energy and the mental clarity piece is just like, you guys, it's huge. Like it's more important to me than any weight loss, honestly. Like that part is huge. It's so nice, especially as a mother, as somebody who has been like run into the ground. Okay, you guys, like this has been a game changer for me. I feel like I can up and run my business better, my vlog better, my blog better, my, you know, I'm like growing a team with this new makeup company that I've joined. I, and I feel like I have more energy for everything. There's more clarity, more focus. My brain is definitely functioning better, you guys. Um, and that piece for me is just like, is huge, is huge, huge. Um, I did at first, at the start of my first month, I think I lost maybe like 10 pounds, but I think that's pretty normal. Um, it's more like water weight when people lose it because I don't know, there's some changes. Like I said, I need to get into like some of the science a little bit more because I really want to teach you guys about what I'm learning and my journey and really take you along with me. But I like that, okay, so the first month I was giving you like updates every week. Um, so hopefully now that I'm, I'm doing this like one month video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try once a week to put some time and energy into some sort of video that's not necessarily an update on my journey. Like I'll probably do an update every few months now, you know? Like maybe I'll do like a three month video and a six month video and see how things are going from there. But really I want to take some more time to share with you just tips I've learned, tricks that have worked for me, um, foods that I've really found that I really like. I want to share some recipes. I have, here's some things that I've tried, okay? I have, um, and I have not really cheated at all. Like, I will say one time we went to, one time I kind of cheated, okay? And I don't remember if I shared this in my three week video my update number three, or if I was gonna share it in my one month and it's just taken me a week to even get to this one month video. <laughs> so, um, the only thing is, is we went to like a buffet one night at the casino cause my husband's work had sponsored a fight there. And so we went and then of course there's buffet afterwards. We did amazing in the buffet actually. I ate salad, I ate fish. I wasn't a huge fan of the fish that was there. Um, but I ate a little bit and tried it. I, but mostly I stuck to really good vegetables, ranch dressing, like cheese, all the good stuff. Like I loaded up on multiple rounds of salad and stuff. Like I had really good, really good hearty, like keto friendly food for sure. But then at dessert, um, we were like, can we, there was like sugar free cheesecake. And I figured, okay, well, there's gonna be some carbs here, no duh, because although it said gluten free too, so I wonder what the crust was. 
but um, if it was almond flour or coconut flour, it might have actually been okay. But so I had some sugar free cheesecake at the buffet, and it was sugar free at least, so you know, it was better than not. But that, oh no, I also had a sugar free cookie there though, so that was kind of my cheat, and it was still sugar free. And um, I do know I spent the next day or two after going to the buffet in the restroom, so. Um, I'm sure my body was reacting to something that I ate that I wasn't used to eating because I've been on this ketogenic diet. I really, um, let's see, what else? What things have I tried? I tried to make like a lemon blueberry bread that was made with almond flour. It turned out a little bit flat. It wasn't like my favorite thing, but I ended up slicing it up and toasting it and putting cream cheese on it and it kind of tasted like a bagel a little bit. So that was nice. Um, I still fry cheese. I eat like crazy amounts of fried cheese, okay? And probably I should back off on the fried cheese a little bit. I don't know, maybe. But maybe it's good that I'm eating it. I'm not sure. But I found Yum Sauce, which in Oregon here we have this place called Cafe Yum, and I actually worked there when I was younger. Um, and so I looked, I found the Yum Sauce in one of the local stores here. I'm not sure if it's anywhere how far yums made it like it opened here originally and then they franchised and there's franchises i know all over oregon now and maybe washington i'm not sure how far it's made it do you have a cafe yum i don't know but if you have yum sauce i found it in new seasons or whole foods new seasons i think um but the yum sauce is incredibly low carb and sugar free and i was really excited so i've been dipping my fried cheese in yum sauce um and then what else i've been making fat bombs i have made these fat bombs that taste like a piece of chocolate so they are bomb i eat them all the time they're a good way to add some coconut oil which helps your body just like utilize all of its fat and energy and fuel better because you're i don't know mct and coconut oil is just like the bomb for ketogenic diet it helps your energy it'll you know just feel a little off minerals also help i've been using the revitalize mineral supplement from modera still so i'm using that i have used external ketones kind of on and off not super consistently but i have used them and i actually really like them i th feel like they help a lot with boosting some of the mental stability, some of the hunger control, some of the, um, like I feel some of that mental clarity. So, so basically when your body creates, your body naturally creates ketones when you're on the ketogenic diet. And so you're basically forcing your body into ketosis, right? And so those ketones are what help boost that mental stamina, give you better sleep, help with your skin, they help with um, your your focus and all of those sort of things. It also burns fat. It makes it so your body switches and burns to fat. So taking the external ketones basically will help with all of those things except for the fat loss. So the fat loss, you really have to be on the ketogenic diet in order to get, but you can take external ketones and get more benefits of the mental clarity and the energy and those sort of things because your body's reacting to the ketones on that stuff but the ketones that your body naturally makes from being on the ketogenic diet are a result of your body burning the fat so the fat comes the fat burn comes first then your body makes the ketones and then you have all the better sleep better mental energy, better stability, better hunger control from those ketones, okay? So the ketones will help support a ketogenic diet. Um, if you're not on a ketogenic diet, the external ketones can still help with like mental clarity and focus, but it's not gonna help with weight loss. Hopefully that kind of makes sense. So it's a really great way to keep your body in ketosis when you are on the ketogenic diet. So it's like great to add to the ketogenic diet. So you really should be doing the ketogenic diet if you're gonna take external ketones. They just kind of keep you out of keto flu and they keep you focused, they keep your ketones up, um, and they just keep control that hunger and stuff like that. Um, but they're not necessary, you know? So um, I'll post a link in the description of both the 
Revitalize, which is the mineral supplement I've been using, and I will post a link to check out some external ketones. You can also get on the external ketones link that I post, you'll also be able to get like MCT oil packets and um, the coffee cream that I've been using is called Keto Cream. And that's been really nice because it has coconut fat in it as well and it tastes really good in your coffee. You just blend it up with your little hand blender, which I finally got myself a hand blender so I could stop using my Nutribullet, which you're not supposed to put hot liquids in. And I'm pretty sure the day before my hand blender came in the mail, I may have broken my Nutribullet. I haven't actually tried to go plug it in and see if it works again yet. I'm sad to even like face it. Please don't be gone Nutribullet. I'll have to get another Nutribullet because smoothies are like a must have in my life. And yes, you can have smoothies on the ketogenic diet. They just have to be more mindful about what you put in it. You can't put honey and sugar and things like that in it. It's okay to have a little bit of plain Greek yogurt with a little bit of berries. Um, put, your, put all your greens in there and stuff. I love the green key that's on the same page as that mineral supplement that I put. Um, I don't know, this is too much information vomit. But mostly I'm just really excited because I feel alert, I feel alive, I feel energized, I feel like I can stick to this diet. I'm excited to keep going. Um, I've been trying to inch in some exercise. Last week I started doing more yoga body sculpt as well as some Zumba. Um, this week I've had a little bit more work to do in general, so I haven't been able to make it to the gym as much, but I'm trying to fit that into my life more. I'm also waking up a little bit earlier and more successful this time, and I honestly believe it's because my body is sleeping better and it's being more focused. So I feel like getting up in the morning has been better for me. And so I'm really, really excited about that because it's something I've struggled with for a long time. I've put myself on like wake up earlier challenges and all sorts of stuff. And I think just helping my health and my, um, you know, my mental health as well, because being on keto really affects your brain and its function. Your brain is mostly made of fat. So if you convince your body to run on fat, your brain is actually going to function better because your body's running on fat. Your brain is made of fat and it's just like so happy that it's like running on fat as fuel. It's like your brain can function and all this like fat is really good for your brain. That's what I mean. That's why omega-3 is such a brain food because it is a really healthy fat that your brain utilizes, you know, so you know, eat your fish and stuff. I'm pescatarian too. And um, there's this really cool book. It's called Ketotarian. And I think I've shared it with you guys before, but I'll put a link to that in the comments as well. It's like a freaking amazing book if you are pescatarian like me. A lot of people are like, how are you doing ketogenic diet as a pescatarian because you don't eat most meats? And I'm like, girl, there are people out there doing this vegan so I can do this pescatarian. So I still eat eggs, I still eat cheese, I still eat fish and seafood and stuff. Um, I just don't eat chicken and beef and things like that. So I just find different sources for my protein. Oh gosh, my dog is snoring. I just heard him. Eey, look how cute he is. He's been cute. Lukey. Oh, hi. <laughs> I love him. He's the cutest dog in the world. Um, what else has been interesting? Hmm, I don't know. I mean, really, anytime I feel sleepy, it's minerals. And I take my mineral supp supplement and I feel much better. Um, or I take some external ketones and that really helps a lot with the energy piece, a lot. Um, and I've been getting even the ones that are not charged. So the caffeine free ones, so that it's just ketones. Cause I drink a lot of coffee anyway. I'm like, I should, probably shouldn't add caffeine into my world as well. <laughs> so I just got the caffeine free ones and I like them. I love them actually. They're great and they're great flavors. Um, I really like the broths. The broths are really good. Um, what else? I don't know, but it's been a month. Oh my goodness. So get ready. Make sure you're subscribing to this channel. Um, now that I've kind of been sharing my journey of kind of getting into the swing of things and you've seen like some of my ups and downs and things like that, I really want to get into sharing recipes and more helpful things for you as, as like tips or whatever else. So if you have things that you are interested in learning more about, make sure you put those in the comments for me because I do want to do a lot more future like keto 
videos that will really help you guys like stay strong in your keto diet, give you food ideas. I've been making some really great, oh, another fat bomb that I've been making lately is just like this, it's like almond butter, coconut oil, and then you put little like those Libby's dark chocolate chips in it that are sugar free and then you roll it up like cookie dough and you roll it in coconut flakes and you put them in the fridge and they get hard and it tastes like you're eating cookie dough, but you're on keto, it's so good. Oh, it's amazing. Um, some other things that I've found, like the Shido Taki tofu noodles makes it so that you can have some like, almost like pho or some sort of like stir fry with those sort of noodles, but it's not really noodles, but it feels like noodles. Um, what else have I found that is amazing? I don't know, but put your ideas, put your questions, put all that sort of stuff in the comments and make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you can be updated when I do share some recipes here this coming month. Um, and then, also hit that little bell if you want to be get actual notifications as well. So if you subscribe, I'll just kind of show up in your feed sometimes. Um, but if you hit that bell, you'll get actual notifications. So, and I think emails maybe, like maybe it notifies your email. I'm not sure. It might be, depend on your settings as far as that goes. But um, I love you guys. And thank you guys for being on this journey with me. I can't wait to start like feeding you guys recipes and tips so that you can be on this journey as well. Oh my gosh, my dog's snoring still. Luke, stop snoring. <laughs> He's so funny. Um, and thank you guys, thank you guys, seriously. Like you guys fuel me. It is motivation to even get on here. It's like self-discipline to even know that somebody's watching and that I have to do this. Um, I mean, I'm doing it for me, but I'm also like, it's just really, it's like having an accountability partner when I get on here. So you guys are great. And I'm really excited to share more with you guys. And I will talk to you guys super duper soon. Leave all that good questions and comments and things you want me to do in future videos in the comments. And love you. Ta-ta!